Hello all, welcome to part 47 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically show you how to use parallel is equal to classes as part of TestNG parallel execution. So let's get started. So in the previous session, I explained how to use parallel is equal to test. Okay, as part of TestNG parallel execution. Now I am going to show you how to use parallel is equal to classes as part of TestNG parallel execution. Okay, here classes will be executing in parallel case. In our previous session, the test tags, whatever that was mentioned in the test tags, okay, there were like two to three test tags. Those were getting executing parallel, and the test this parallel is equal to test need to be provided in the so tag level. But now parallel is equal to classes. Okay. Here classes will be executing parallel, not the test tags. Okay. So fine. Let's see that in complete. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a single test tag in test change XML file. Here we have three test tags. Okay. Here we have three test tags. Instead of three text tags, uh, I'll just make it only one test tag. I'll move all the classes into single class, single test tag. Register login and search like this three classes i'll move into in a single test okay so i'll just uh, remove this and uh, other test tags and here i'll say all tests okay all tests register login and search are there okay or test one i'll say otherwise test one okay register login and search classes here we have three classes now at this kind of situation Okay, at this kind of situation where we have multiple classes here inside a single test, either we can provide parallel is equal to classes and uh, thread count is equal to three. I can do this at the two tag level or I can mention at the test tag level also because here multiple classes are there, right? Here multiple classes are there. So we can either provide at the two tag level or the test tag level. Because inside the test tag level, we have the classes. Inside the suit also, we have these classes. Okay. All these three classes will be executing parallelly. The test methods of all these three classes will be running parallelly. That means one of the test method of the register class will run in one of the thread. One of the test method in login class will run in one of the thread. One of the test in search class will run in one of the thread. So here classes will be occupying the threads. Okay. So so let's uh, go with uh, an example here. Let's say there is a hotel and in this hotel, if I say thread count is equal to three, that means, okay, there are three tables with only single chair where only one person can sit. Now three families came here. The three families are classes guys. Okay. Here register class is one family having four members. Okay. They came to this hotel. Let's say this is a hotel. Okay, now login class is another family now. Here we are running the tests in parallel, uh, classes in parallel. Okay, here five members are there in this family and a search class are there. And here we have three members, the family. Okay, now you see there are three threads. So what will happen? One of the member from this register class will be executing in this particular thread. At the same time, parallelly, one of the member in the login class will be running in this thread and one of the member in the search class will be running in this thread. Okay. And once this one of the member is completed eating, second member, okay, third member, fourth member like this. Okay. While this execution is going on, parallelly, this class is also, this class's members also will be, okay, running parallelly here. And this class members also will be running parallelly in this third thread. Okay, three threads will be allocated per. Okay, uh, this class will be allocated to this uh, this thread. This class will be allocated to this thread. This class will be allocated to this thread. Members of this classes will be running on the individual threads. This is what will happen. Either you mention them at the suit level, the same thing will happen, or test level also same thing will happen because all the classes belong to the single test here. Okay, now run this. Three threads will be allocated and register class will be running in one thread, login class uh, methods will be running in another thread. You see, search class is running in one thread, okay, 25 thread, 
your search is running in 25 thread okay login login class is running in 23rd thread your login is running in 23rd your login is 23rd login is 23rd login is 23rd okay whereas register class is running in parallelly it's running right you see all these things are running parallelly 24 thread 24 thread 24 is register 24 is register like that guys okay parallel execution of the classes here okay when i say parallel is equal to classes classes will be running parallelly you can also provide the same thing at the test tag level for more customization the same result you will get here okay either you provide parallel is equal to classes or thread count is equal to three either the suit level or the test level you will get the same output okay three threads will be allocated register will be running in one thread search is running in 25 register is running 24 login is 23 search 25 register 24 login 23 register 20 so they are running parallelly guys okay so that's what is happening now what if i move one of the class here only two classes i will mention two threads i will mention and here another test i will mention test classes and here this class yes. classes classes class is there any problem here name test name is equal to let's say test two and uh, okay that's it okay i just named it and there it is gone but only one test uh, parallel execution is implemented and other test parallel execution is not implemented what happens here is when you run this particular test and xml file okay first this particular test will run this particular test will run where parallel is equal to classes is mentioned that means the classes which are inside this particular test will be running parallelly register will be allocated to one thread login will be allocated to another thread okay login login class will be allocated to another thread that members of the login class will be executed in another thread okay so once this test is completed once the parallel execution of these two classes is completed as part of this test then next test will be executed where no parallel execution here only one test is there here only one test is, one class is there so there is no parallel execution and also there is no parallel execution implemented if you have one more class here okay if you have one more class control v i'll say search two or something and just name the values here i'll say two two i'll just mention two guys okay search two methods also i'll just mention too just i don't want to waste time in uh, you know creating more classes and all just i'll just mention two for a difference okay here two two i'll mention two two this is another class guys okay let's say this is another class now save this now mention this uh, search to also here search to class also here okay search two is also mentioned but these classes will not be running in parallel because at this test tag level parallel is equal to classes is not mentioned okay parallel is equal to classes is not mentioned at this level that's why this test okay this test uh, related classes will be running sequential manner on only one thread will be there but here two threads will be created uh, register class methods will be running in one thread login classes will be running in one thread but here no threads will be created for the once this uh, parallel execution of this particular class in the test is completed, the next test, okay, test two will be running where they will not be running in parallel. They will be running in sequential manner. The only one thread will be created with the ID one and uh, all these methods of this will be executed sequentially, okay, as per this order. Run this, you see, register and login will be running parallelly. Login allocated to 23, register allocated to 24, 23, 24, 23, 24. 23 24 23 okay all the login and register tests got executed parallelly these classes inside this first test got executed parallelly because we mentioned parallel is equal to classes but coming to the search they got executed sequentially using only on one thread having the id one right as you can see here there is no parallel execution in this second test okay so at tag level if you provide you will get a better customization if you provide the same thing at uh, suit level now this parallel is equal to classes will not be only applied to this test tag but also for this particular test tag also okay first two threads will be created for this test tag okay two threads will be created for this uh, test tag so register will be running in one thread and login met members will be running in one thread after that those threads will be deleted and for the next 
test tags okay for the next test okay again parallel is equal to classes will be implemented where search will be running in one thread and search two will be running in another thread because you are mentioning parallel is equal to classes thread count is equal to at the which level suit level so it will be applied for all the tests right so classes in all the tests will be running in parallel and uh, the threads which are created thread numbers which are created for this first test will be deleted and new threads will be created for the second test we'll see that right click run as test in the suit you see register is running on 24 login is running on 23 register uh, login 23 register 24 24 is register login is 23 Register is 24, login is 23, login is 23. Now 23 and 24 threads got deleted. Okay, after this first test tag got is, uh, completed, the class in the first test tag got completed, 23 and 24 got deleted. Now new threads got created, 25 and 26, 25, 26, 25, 26 got created for search and search to search and search. To. Okay, if you mention at the suit level, this is what will happen. Okay, first this tag classes got executed parallelly, later this test tag classes got executed parallelly okay so this is how guys this is how in all ways i showed you okay here classes will be running parallelly guys okay here classes will be running parallelly when parallel is equal to test the test tags are running parallelly when parallel is equal to classes classes in inside the test will be running parallelly okay that's what is the difference you have to understand between parallel is equal to test and parallel is equal to classes so hope guys you understood what is what exactly is parallel is equal to classes in test and parallel execution so that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another test topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.